handle polysulfone reactors as if they were made of glass. PET models are more robust. Shorter autoclave cycles with slow exhaust are recommended. Loosen the thumb screws when autoclaving to avoid cracking. Autoclave the reactor without hardware, such as removable legs. Place the reactor flat in an autoclave tray and arrange the effluent tubing so that the ports are not pulled sideways or pressured. Allow the reactor to cool in the autoclave tray. Inspect injection port septa and replace as necessary to ensure an adequate seal. Leave the injection port septa in the open position. In case of leakage, check for the following. Cracks in the reactor, punctures in the tubing, proper seating of tubing and pump head, proper needle placement in the injection valves, clamps removed from effluent tubing. If using smaller diameter effluent tubing, ensure that proper drainage is possible as biofilm accumulates. It is recommended that bacterial air vents are replaced periodically when they become wet or appear soiled.